I do like that you wore your cowboy hat. What's your name? Does it match? Does it match the hat? What is it, Christopher? It does not match the hat. I have never walked into an old timey town in California in the mid 1800s. Had a couple whiskeys at the bar. <laughs> Thank you, that'll be all what I owe you. Oh, well, lucky for you. I struck pretty well painting for gold, so here's a little sack. Keep the rest. Now, <coughs> you'll excuse me and head out. Oh my God, did you just hear that? Yeah, yeah. Them's engine, sorry, them's Native Americans over there. Anywho, you keep it together, be careful. Remember, my name's Tomahawk Jackass. They call me TJ. If I see anybody out there that looks dangerous, I'll let you know. Thanks again for the whiskey. Thanks again for the company. Thanks again for the player piano. Obviously, I knew that the piano played itself, but it was cool that you pretended to do that, and that's why I gave you a nickel. <laughs> Just don't try and fool anybody again or I'll kill you. I'll kill you, dead, right here. But I really did love when you played Hard Knock Life. I thought that was especially prescient because the movie Annie won't be made for another, I'd say, 130 years. Don't do the math. Anyway, anyway ta -ta. let me know, is anybody out there that's particularly dangerous? No? Uh, yeah, I'll let you know if there is. Yeah, he's always, he's always giving me a little trouble. <laughs> what in the hell? All right, partner, I see you. What are you looking at, stranger? And then he's like, not much. What are you looking at? I'm looking at that strange combination of boots, denim jeans, and a button-down olive shirt. And what appears to be a plaid blue sport coat that you bought when men's warehouse was going out of the house. It's going well on out of the house, and where? We don't know. But hey, I see you. I see you. What are, you got, what are you doing here, huh? What are you doing? Hey, fella, hey! You reach, I'll reach. You point, I'll point. If you shoot, I'll have already shot. Look at me. Now, look now here. And you tell me right now. I'm one of the most dangerous sons of bitches in the West. They call me TJ, stands for Tomahawk Jackass. What's your name? I need to know a man's name before I kill him. Christopher. You go on home now, Christopher. <laughs> People call you Chris? Yeah. I like it, man. I mean, I like the whole situation because I like what you're doing. In fact, I already told Nicole. Nicole, are you on the floor? Yeah? Um... Can you grab, what do you drink? I, uh, me and uh, one of the servers who I adore and actually is working very hard right now, asked me, she's, I said, I'm going to talk to that guy in the cowboy hat. And then I'm going to buy him a drink. She goes, what do you want? I was like, I don't know. I don't know what he drinks. We got to get him. She goes, well, what is it? Whiskey, vodka? What do you think? I said, I mean, I don't know. I'm, let me ask him. I'll ask him. And then can you run and grab it? She's like, absolutely. And she started to go. And then she turned back. And she was like, TJ, do you think there's a world where his name is Christopher. <laughs> I said, I, you know, I'm not sure. She goes, I think it is. I'll go prepare some Vegas bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Jokes aside, what would you like, Christopher? What is it? A Cabernet. I mean, it occasionally is very difficult for me as a comedian, uh, who I would say is fairly funny. I wouldn't say incredibly funny, but I would say it's frustrating when I slowly but surely and then quickly craft a completely rift, improvised bit in the Old West between me <laughs> and a man that I hardly know. And it's hysterical and it gets a full on applause break. And then the funniest thing of the night so far is when I fucking ask Christopher what drink he would want. And he goes, Cabernet. Can you, Nicole's already gone. She's like, I'll get it. <laughs> really, a Cabernet? So what happened? I mean. That sounds, that didn't sound, uh, that wasn't, that wasn't how I wanted to say it. Oh no, it was actually, now that I realize. Um, so I won't bring up the fact that you, you tried to, you did a shot. Can we have uh, two, I mean, I can't believe I'm saying this right now. Because I've never said this, even with, when I'm with Kate. Because she'll kill a man for uh, swinging the saloon doors wrong. But in, in our world, the only thing I've ever said is all of two Pinot Noirs, but I can't believe I'm saying this. Uh, me and the cowboy, cowboy Christopher, uh, could you please bring us two Cabernets straight, no ice. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, what do you chase that with? Chase that with anything you chase. What's that? H2O. You, oh God, you guys. Easy. I, I mean, we all know, let me make my way to, I mean, we can't have the whole show, him being like H2O, and I have 30 women go, oh my God. I'm telling you what though, Christopher, you are, facilitating a lot of men's evenings tonight. I'll tell you exactly how. There are about, I'd say 15 women in here that when you're like, what do I chase it with? H2O. I'd say 15 women tonight went, ugh, and then looked at the guy they're with and been like, you stallion. You fucking cocksmith. I'm going to let you have your way with me, and then I'll have my way with you. <laughs> and then I'll let you watch me have my way with me, and then I'm going to ask you to leave the room. <laughs> and you got him one, too? Jesus, this is a full cavernet. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. And I want to tell you, the one thing I love about comedy clubs is you're already drinking. You know what, either act like a cowboy, be named like a cowboy, or never say H2O again, all right? <laughs> Cheers, buddy, thanks for being a part of the show.